which artist gave you the most interesting interview? Yeah. Interesting interview. That's <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne question. I'll start off with. I was totally prepped for it. You know, I was a big Ozzy fan, and I uh, was really excited to talk with him, but I knew the reputation. So I'm there in the studio. The producers are sort of nervous, and when they were nervous about an interview that made you nervous, so I'm kind of sweating already. He comes walking in with Sharon, a little bit of an entourage, not overbearing, but he seemed uh, immediately through the door a little wired. So he was stuttering all the way, both in his feet and his, his, his he was muttering like a, a, a little old man, remember this one right after Sharon. And I was like, oh no. He sits down in front of and me. This and this 30 years ago. This is 30 dang years yeah. ago. I don't know how the, the guy's gotten better yeah. since then. Modern drugs, I guess. But um, he sat down and it was apparent that he was uh, a, a, you know, a little nervous, a little kooky, and talking to the sound guy weird in languages no one understood. And Sharon was going, well, he's, he's got a cold, you know, and he's taking some medicine on the plane over, and uh, he'll be all right. So I was like, okay, first question. Here we go. Great question. I don't remember it. Here's the question, Ozzy. Well, you know, you know, you, 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 you know, you know, right, right, yeah, yeah, really, yeah, you know, I'm saying, Alan. It was like, oh, crap. <laughs> and the producer whispers into her little thing, oh, stop tape, please. And comes over to me and says, just do the best you can. <laughs> so after that, it was, I just went with the flow of whatever I, I just picked out a word. You know, if you said the word football, I go, yeah, how about them uh, Yankees? I don't know. Yeah. But it was, he was a lovely guy. He was a sweetheart. And you could, felt, you could feel that he was a little self-conscious about being out of it. But it was, it was weird. We got to the Dove, the the dub thing eventually. I don't know. You mean the, the, the dub? The bat. The bat. The bat. Sorry. The bat off. The head off the bat. I suppose we did it with a dub, too. Now I'm being Ozzy. What, get, what answer uh, was most unexpected from um, any of your interviews? Yeah. Anybody have any surprise answers? Anybody reveal anything to us? Well, this isn't exactly an answer, but at the end of, I finally, I had an opportunity to interview Paul McCartney, and I'm a huge Paul McCartney fan. You know, I, as a kid, grew up listening to Beatles 24-7, you know, as a member of the Beatles fan club, went to Beatle Fests here in the city. So finally get to meet Paul McCartney, and he's sitting there drinking tea throughout the interview, as all good British people do. And at the end of the interview, they usher him away, and I look over at his teacup, and it's half filled, and I'm like, hmm. I don't care if I get a bacterial infection, if I get it from Paul McCartney. So I picked up his cup and I downed the tea. Uh. And then I was looking around and nobody was looking at me. It was kind of, it was a Capitol record. So it was kind of like this with a studio over there and nobody was looking at me. So I just opened my bag and I just put the cup right in my bag and I still have it unwashed. I could clone Paul McCartney. Wow. <laughs>